Astro World. Let's start with some flyers for the event. Um, this one is roller coasters going down into what looks like a vortex. Um, so basically, if you guys don't know, Astro World is based on an amusement park that Travis um, enjoyed when he was a kid in Houston. And so I think that is where the roller coaster tracks coincide. But notice the eye, the eye. Very symbolic of the Illuminati, of the elite. It's used symbolically throughout. We'll see. I'll show you. And people being sucked into the vortex. Same flyer, but explaining that tickets are sold out. Here we have an artist lineup flyer with a highway going down into this spiraling tunnel and the eye symbolism again in the hands. Also notice this little bit right here of the people walking through a doorway. Another flyer, same freaky vortex. Um, and look at all the eye symbolism and all the triangles. I mean, come on. This one was what really got me. With the end arrives, it's really the beginning. The true dystopia is here. Does anybody know what dystopia means? Dystopia, an imagined state or society in which there is great suffering or injustice, typically one that is totalitarian or post-apocalyptic. And another that says, see you on the other side. Here's the eyes again in the vortex, like they're traveling through a vortex to the other side. The other side of what? The other side of life, bitch. Now, remember the poster I showed you of the people walking through the doorway? He had the same imagery on his shirt where it appears that these people are traveling through a doorway and they're becoming red looking devilish as they go through, travel through this portal. This is the entrance to the concert and this is where imagery really comes into play here. This is a painting created in 1550 by a Dutch painter named Hieronymus Bosch. It's called Christ in Limbo, and it's referencing when Christ traveled to the depths of hell to redeem the souls of the lost down there after um, his death following the crucifixion. It was a big thing that played on the Europeans' imagination at this time, so of course there's a painting of it, but please note that people in, in satanic practices use religious imagery as a mockery to carry out their agenda. So entering the mouth is essentially traveling into hell. Picking right back up from where we left off on part two. So this painting, um, the Christ in limbo, this is the mouth of hell, which Travis symbolically used with his own mouth. So it's symbolic for literally concert goers traveling through the mouth of hell into hell. And that's why the whole inside of the concert was filled with pyro shit, fire everywhere, and it looked like hell because that's what it was symbolic for. It was symbolic for people coming into hell. Okay, so right before all hell broke loose, literally, um, this portal opens, Kylie posts a video of it, and then takes the video down very quick like. Ironically, it looks just like this portal to hell here in another religious painting. This was the portal, uh, I'm assuming, before it opened, and it says, see ya on the other side. So he's using repetitive imagery, the people coming through the doorway, this shit. And so he is, he's talking about traveling through a portal with his concert goers, see ya on the other side. Portal imagery over and over. Hell imagery over and over look at look at this fire this right here is probably one of the most um damning pictures to me if you guys haven't read the report yet eight people lost their lives at this concert when these flames came up when this shit started happening there were eight flames represented eight towers of fire began shooting up as eight people lost their lives Coincidence? Mm, I know the fuck not. 
This is Travis watching a young man convulse on the ground at his concert while he continued to sing it over like an auto tune of yeah, 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 in really fucking weird tones. Okay, y'all can go watch the video. He did at one time pause and ask security to help someone who had passed out. Um, but other than that, he let the shit ride. You have to understand that these concerts are set up and blueprinted out in specific patterns that are ritualistic. These people are carrying out rituals and harnessing the energy of the concert goers to carry out these ritual practices. These people are associated with the Illuminati, the Freemasons. They're practicing ancient religions that the general public does not understand. Those eight peoples were a sacrifice for a ritual carried out. And being that a security officer was injected with a substance and administered Narcan to save his life, they're now investigating it as a homicide. Th this was a homicidal event. Part three of Astral World was not an accident. Um, so we know at 9 p.m. is when... Um, Shit started getting a little hot, getting started up. 9.30, shit got wild. From that point on, it was like, from 9 o'clock on, people were approaching platforms, were getting on platforms with cameramen, asking for the show to be canceled, screaming help, begging for help. Travis didn't finish his set until 9.42. So, 42 minutes of not give a fuck is what happened. Now, if y'all know anything about a ritual, y'all know that it is so important for the energy and the momentum to barrel on from start to finish. I personally believe this is why he did not stop. He had to carry out the ritual. And don't come at me with the couple times he stopped and asked for a passed out man to get help or asked for a crowd to move through an ambulance. He did not give a fuck. He could have ended his entire show right the fuck then and there. He knew what he was doing. He was carrying out a practice, a ritual, and using the concert goer's energy to bring the results that he wants into fruition. Now, in part two, I showed you guys the eight flames, the eight towers of flames that went up. And we know that there are eight lives that were lost. But does anybody know how many Grammys Travis Scott has? Eight. He has eight Grammys. Now, at 930, when shit started getting whack, he literally told his fans that he, quote, wanted to hear the ground shake. All the while, the portal is opening. The victims of this concert that lost their lives were between the ages of 14 and 27 years old. Troy Finner, the chief of police, said that this is now an ongoing criminal investigation um, being taken care of by homicide and narcotics detectives, being that a security guard was injected, felt an injection in his neck, lost consciousness, was administered Narcan, and was revived. Narcan is a medication that's administered to people who have overdosed on opioids. They believe a perpetrator to have been cut, making their way through the crowd and injecting people with drugs. Samuel Pina, the chief of the fire police, said that he administered Narcan to several other people as well. And several people were sent to the hospital with injuries and reportedly going into cardiac arrest. On top of the chief of police investigation, the Harris County judge, Lena Hidalgo, um, has asked that an objective individual investigation um, take way and the second day of astral world was canceled not by travis scott but by the city themselves i'll make a part for with any new leads as they continue to investigate